Okay, Mr. Tommy W. Here's my circuit. Um, it's uh, this part number. Yeah, okay. So it's an uh, infrared emitter, diode uh, emitter, and detector pair. Oh, yeah, you know, maybe you can look at those somewhat closely. I'm sorry, it's so blurry. I gotta get this quickly. Okay, this, you know, was all the stuff on the back. And um, here's my circuit. I have um, the top connected to my 5 volts positive. Uh, goes to the uh, photodiode. I don't know if it's hooked up like this or if it's backwards and hooked up the other direction. It doesn't really matter. It's okay because we have this one kilo ohm resistor right here to keep uh, extraneous current from going through our digital in input. So even if this goes to zero, we'll still have that, you know, so our current will be under uh, control. So that 1K resistor right here, it'd probably be okay if you put it like right here instead and just have the uh, the photodiode going to uh, this junction right here which goes to the resistor and then to our digital input and then uh, from this point you know you just go down and there's our 5 mega ohm resistor and then you know to ground and the cool thing about this little uh, hook circuit is also since you know we're using it as a, just a digital one zero like this with like what three parts <laughs> anyways um, we can also use it as a digital input and um, okay, so here's our uh, our LED, our infrared LED, and here's our uh, diode, our photodiode. It's inside this tube, so that the light from the infrared LED bounces up and bounces back into the tube. It narrows the the beam area, and uh, so that's pretty much it, man. I think I might have explained it all well enough and quickly enough. Sorry, so fast I am running out of space on my camera. Take care, man.